Hey guys, Richard here and welcome to the video that you've all been waiting for, setting up your first campaign. So in this video, we're finally, finally, finally going to be setting up the first Google Shopping campaign. But first, let me just show you here the Merchant Center. So when we click on products, again, we go to list. Not all of our um, products have been approved yet for shopping ads, but they will. And this doesn't really matter because all we need to set up the campaign is for them to be in this pending stage and this ID right here. So once you guys have this ID, we can start setting up campaigns and they just won't show until they're approved, which again can take one through three business days, but usually they're done within one through two. So let's see here. They're still pending here. But without further ado, let's set up our first campaign. And I know I know you guys see a campaign here, and that's because Laz went ahead and recorded another video in advance. But yeah, let's just ignore this. This is our first Google Shopping campaign. Okay, so the first thing that you guys want to do is come here to the All Campaigns tab when you go into your AdWords account, which you should already be there, and just click this huge plus sign here. We're going to put New Campaign. And we're obviously going to click on shopping because that's what we're doing, shopping campaigns. And this is, again, this is where you can, you see here, you can do a search um, network, a display network. Um, the video, this is actually YouTube campaigns. Universal app is to make a campaign to promote your app, but we are doing shopping. So click shopping. Right here, it will select your store. That's our store. Make sure your country of sales is fine. This should all this should be fine when you guys click shopping. So just click continue. And guys, for this course, we're only focusing on United States. So I mean, you can go global with Google Shopping, but in this course, we're only teaching for United States. So click continue. Okay. So campaign name. So this for this first campaign, it's going to be our general testing campaign, and you guys will see why in a few minutes. So for the campaign name, I usually like to put all products then you can put like test or something so all products because all of our products will be inside this campaign okay so your merchant this is your merchant ID your country of sale is United States and for for this campaign at least we do not have to click on these additional settings we will click on this later we'll use these stuff later for a later campaign but for this one you don't have to touch anything here so the next step here is bidding settings. Wait, actually, no, no, no. Okay, so bidding settings. So for here, we like to do maximize clicks, okay? Because it will start to show our campaign as fast as possible to as many people as possible. There's other, other bid strategies here. You can do target ROAS. This bidding strategy, we do not like to use it unless if we have enough data right um enhance cpc this one i don't like to start with either because again if we choose a bid that's too low it won't show the campaign and if we choose a bid that's too high it's just going to cost us more so when you do maximize click it actually starts off low and it increases the bid little by little until you start getting those clicks so that's why i like it um for the maximum for the maximum bid limit i don't like to set a, a limit either to start if you guys want to be a little more conservative you can set a limit i mean if you're going to set a limit i would suggest anywhere between two to two dollars and fifty cents but I, I don't like setting the limit so i'm not going to set a limit so daily budget so for the daily budget you have to keep in mind that this campaign will have every single product in it right so you don't want to put a ten dollar or a $20 budget on this one. I would say minimum $50 budget, but I like to start this at $100. Delivery method here. Even though you can, this is a glitch here. I, I hate this new Google Shopping or Google AdWords um, interface. It used to look different. This is actually a glitch. When you select maximize clicks, it shouldn't allow you to select accelerated. If you select accelerated here, it's not going to it's not going to show 21. So leave this on standard. You could only click ac accelerated if you have another bid option here. So if, if we were to do um, enhanced cost per click bidding, 
then yeah, we we can we would be able to to use accelerated, but we're not using that. So we're using standard. And just so you guys know, because I actually just went over that, and I'm not sure if you guys know what enhanced cost per click is. So enhanced cost per click is this is basically auto bid. So you get to choose your bid. But the enhanced part of it is that when Google sees that you start to get purchases, it starts to adjust your bid to get um, the most money for your purchases, right? So Google will start adjusting your bid so that you get more purchases. Again, I do not recommend this to start because your campaign will have no data to optimize for. So just do maximize clicks, standard, campaign priority. Okay. So what is the priority level so you guys don't really have to worry too much about this so basically a priority level works it comes into play when you have more when you have the same product in two different campaigns so let's say that we have the snorkel mask in this campaign and then we have the snorkel mask in another campaign right and let's say that the bid on them is 0.50 so which one gets shown right because it's the same product it's the same ad account and the same bid so which one gets shown so that's where this comes into play the one that would get shown is the one with the higher with the highest priority so for argument's sake i like to always go on medium on this campaign and you will actually will will be using high priority in other campaigns but for this one you can i mean you could even have it on low you can have it on low or medium i i put it on medium and this will become a little more clear when we're in the next video when we're setting up our product specific campaigns okay so the next step is the targeting and scheduling settings so for networks i like to keep the google search partners included if you're being conservative then you can check it off but i i think this brings good results it's brought us good results so we always keep these included devices we always show to all of them locations again guys we're we're only doing united states for this one you can sell to other countries, but this course is strictly for United States. Okay, so let's go back and check that we did everything right. So our products, uh, slash dash test, that's okay. We don't need to worry about this for this campaign. Okay, the bidding, we're gonna we're gonna bid maximize clicks, one hundred dollar budget, standard delivery method. You can have it on low or medium. I like I like to have it on medium networks we're keeping this included we're doing all devices um later on if we see that one device is outperforming the other one we'll take we'll turn it off but for now we like to test with all devices locations united states and save and continue here actually let me copy this first you'll see why i'm doing that now save and continue okay so this is a new format we don't use this format we use the standard format and for the ad group name, we just type in the, the same title here. Select group product shipping. Okay, everything looks good. You click save. And we have just created our first campaign. No targeting or anything like that. Pretty simple. Pretty, pretty simple. So let's go here now into all campaigns. And now we have here our first Google Shopping campaign. So right now, let me refresh this. And just to make sure that everything went well. Okay, so now we can actually click on shopping campaigns. And this is our only shopping campaign. We see that it's good, it's running. So now we can click on this campaign. Okay, this is the ad group and we can go into products. Let's just make sure Pending image, yeah, okay, so yeah, these are all the products. Obviously, they're not approved yet because on the Merchant Center, they're still uh, pending the approval, but as soon as they, they go green, all of this should be good. But this is perfect. Every single product is in here, or I hope, I mean, I'm not counting, but it looks like it. Every There's 31, do we have a number here? Yeah, 31, okay, every single product is in here. So this campaign is ready to go, guys. This was our first Google shopping campaign. This campaign is the campaign that we usually use to test. Okay. So from now on, 
whenever we add a new product to our Shopify store, that product will automatically, listen to how powerful this is, whenever we add a new product, that product will automatically go into this Google Shopping sales channel. When it goes into here, it's going to automatically go into our Merchant Center. Here it'll take around two to three days, and when it's done here, it will automatically go into our new campaign. Oops, shopping. It will automatically go into this campaign and it will automatically start to get tested. So, I mean, I mean, I think that's powerful as hell, right? So now whenever we're adding products, we don't even have to worry about um, setting up videos and targeting interests, you know, for other advertising um, methods. Now, whenever we add a product, it's going to automatically get tested here on this campaign. So I think that's super powerful, guys. I think that just with this here alone, you, you're going to find winners that you didn't even know were winners before, right? You can have a VA just uploading a whole mess of products to your store uh, daily, and you're going to see that they're going to start performing really well in this campaign here. So guys, I don't want to make this video go longer than what it needs to be. That was our first campaign. This is probably the most important campaign that we're going to create. So if you guys have to watch this video twice, three, four times, do it. But I hope you guys understood everything. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll be creating a campaign for only one product. Okay, catch you guys later. Bye.